Cafe Networking Podcast promotes successful business experts. I'm Tom Riach, known as the King of Networking, connecting people throughout the world from my podcast studio in Brazil. Joining us today from Harrogate, England, is Lee Woolard, inspirational leader, international speaker, business and life strategist. So Lee, how do you help business owners increase profit and build a life they love? Tom, thank you for having me. So I've been supporting business owners since 2006 for nearly 20 years now who've got a proven product or service and we use paid advertising to get them in front of more people, more eyes, more of their ideal customers so that they can grow, scale their business. That's the first part of the equation because it's the most important one for a lot of business owners. But what we tend to find over time is the business owners themselves have grown their business to a level where it's organically grown and then they've got so many things pulling them in so many directions Mm. that they feel spread thin, um, an inch deep and a mile wide, and they can't see the wood through the tree. So what we end up actually doing is helping them make empowered decisions that are in alignment with a vision, and then that vision is amplified by us running paid ads and growing the business but also giving the business owners some space. And, and, your vision, and your vision comes from being in a position to see others and see others' successes and failures, right? Yeah. My vision came about because I tried this for 18 years and got nowhere. Mm-hmm. Um, I was getting okay results, but it just never seemed to get above a, a certain threshold. And then um, I got some mentors. I got some coaching over the last four or five years pieced all of the missing parts that I could see in all of the groups I was in because the online coaching world had exploded, especially post pandemic. Mm-hmm. And it was 95% of people were not getting a result when they bought a program. And I was like, why are all these people not getting a result? Why am I not getting a result? Mm-hmm. And then I looked for the common traits and it was like, okay, everyone wants to grow and scale a business and thinks that sales and marketing will solve the problem. But more often than not, the problem is actually in the business owner. Right. Once you get that awareness, you're able to go, right, okay, I can change my results now. So I was able to discover how you change the results first in my health. That's where it started because my business had put me under some pressure like a lot of business owners. Um, my health was, was, was not uh, doing great because of it. I was trying to be a present father and a loving husband and run a business like a lot of a lot of people are. Mm-hmm. And things just weren't happening. And then all of a sudden, once I started to study and become aware of why my results were happening, it was like, right, now I can change this. So then really, basically, to- just separating those parts and portions. Because we don't sit down. The plate is always full. Yep. But we never sit down and eat the whole plate in one bite. No. So it's really scheduling and planning and taking part piecemeal. It's it's a lot about having a very crystal clear vision of where you want to go, and, and 95% of people don't. And we all think we do. Oh, I want to go there, and I want to have a million dollar in the bank, or I want to have a multi-million dollar business, but that's not a vision. Mm-hmm. That's, that's an idea and a concept. But when you get crystal clear on your vision and what it looks like, it allows you then to take the steps without the pressure and the stress. Then if you learn when some obstacles come up, how you handle those obstacles and recognize them as a learning step instead of a mistake, you start to become more comfortable going, okay, if I make more of these mistakes, they keep taking me one step closer. And sometimes just having somebody in your corner when those things happen as a business owner means, okay, I didn't fail then. Actually, this is the path towards where I want to go in my vision. And you just need that little voice on your shoulder saying you're on the right track. This is the learning lesson that came from that. This is where we're going and it's still in alignment with your vision. If that changes, which it can, Mm -hmm. okay, it's changing because actually your vision shifting a little bit because you, you now know what you don't want, which is just as important. Now, Lee, you're in the, you're in the heartland of England. Uh, yep. Is your client base there or do you ha- handle clients everywhere? It's actually 75% in the States. Really? So I more, yeah, I have more people in the US than I do in, in the UK. And my belief around this is I've been on the internet for a long time helping businesses. Mm-hmm. The US are the first at uptake. They dive in 
They want to figure it out, which is fantastic. The British in particular take a lot longer to get to know, like, and trust you. Right. It's part of their culture, but they can be some of the most loyal customers you can have. No, that's typical. First, there, there are many, many more businesses in the United States. And, and by any statistic, there's always more starting up. There are many more people uh, navigating towards having a business. And, and also depending on a person who knows more like yourself. Appreciate that. <laughs> <laughs> no, seriously. Yeah. yeah. And, and look, I see that with the people I work with. Um, it's important that, number one, they have the values that are in alignment with me and my values are in alignment with them mm -hmm. um, because I believe integrity and honesty in business is one of the most important things. And, and obviously over a 20-year period of being in business, you, you work with people who are honest and integral and others that aren't. No, and that's the most important, I think, and I know that that's the most important aspect of business. Yeah. It and makes it more enjoyable. And that's not, something you can't go out and buy. I want a pound or a kilo of integrity. It's just it's not there. And it comes with experience as well. Right. Over the years, I, I have a pre-qualification that I have now through questions that I ask that help me align with the person. And sometimes I have to say no, and that doesn't mean I don't think they'll be a success. What it means is, okay, we're on the same page and we're going we're gonna to go and make your vision a reality and we're going to do it with integrity. And it, it's not work then for either of us. Very so good. The, the guys that I work with now, to them, they feel free for the first time. It's not an anchor to them. You know, they've, they've got a much better home life. They've got a much better health. They're also enjoying what they're doing because they're going in a direction that they want to go rather than yeah, it just happening. And that, like that's really the life you want, right? You want to enjoy life. A lot of business owners don't have it. And I didn't have it for so long. Right. That's why I wanted to discover it. And now I'm like, hey, some of my original customers from my previous business were like, you have to teach other people this. Right. And that's, that's where this was born from. Very good. So, Lee, how can our listeners find you? How can they be on your page? Best, best place to start is Instagram or LinkedIn. Both of those I share short-form video content. Get to know, like, and trust me and see if my message is in alignment with you. And then from that, move on to the website, have a look at any of the free events that I do. Come along to one. I'd love to see you there. Mention this podcast. You know, we want to... <laughs> Let Tom know the, the reach and the impact that he's having. Um, but I would love to love to meet people who want to make an impact and, and really feel fulfilled in their business. Very good. Well, it was a pleasure having you here. Thank you. Tom, thank you so much for having me and, and all the best to your, your fantastic listeners. Good. And for our listeners, it's Lee Woolard. First name is L-E-I-G-H. The last name W-O-O-L-A-R-D. Find him on LinkedIn, TikTok, and his site, which is leewoolard.com. leewoolard.com. Cafe Networking is brought to us by Focus MI Market Intelligence, an agricultural market research specialist in Brazil. More information at their site, focusmi.com. Talk to Tom, talk to the world. Thanks for listening. Until the next time here at Cafe and Networking Podcast. 